Yeah, hi guys, hi guys doing today? Well, uh, I'm here to show you guys a trick. A trick that works. Like it's a perfect trick when uh, which works when you have a wrong BPM or when you notice that your loops, your set loops, four bit loops, eight bit loops, when you notice they are not seamless. Let me show you an example. Uh, this song has uh, a BPM of 100 and this BPM is wrong. It is very, very wrong. So now let me show you an example. A typical example or a, a way in which you know if the BPM is wrong. So you set a 4 bit loop, or let's say a 4 bit loop is it's faster for it to go back and then you take the notice. So let's. Okay. So listen. I'm sure you noticed that was sounding so so bad. So let's correct this. Let's let's put it in the right place or let give, let's give the BPM the right value. Now this trick will be done by correcting the bit rate. So the first thing you need to do will be to clear out the initial grids that you have that has been placed in the song's data already. So you come here, click on edit grids and then clear out all grids. You can just click on it once and then to clear everything all out. So the next thing to do after clearing out the grids is for you to locate the first uh, the first downbeat. The first downbeat. Now this is my own preferred point after the drum rolls and the short intro. So after locating the first downbeat you, you click on set. After clicking on set you I'm sure you know you already know how to count how to count your beats, bars and phrases. So that will help here. So after setting the first grid, you click on play and then you count four bits. So let's go. Now I'm sure you noticed the, the fourth bit ended before this and then a new, the fifth one will start from here which will get you into another set of four bits. So we're going to set another grid here. So you can use your, your keyboard, you can use X on your keyboard or you click on set again. Or I will just use X. So you notice the number has moved. The number of the of the grid ahead has moved backwards to the place that I set it to be. So let's check it out. Let's see if the other grids behind this will align themselves already. If they haven't, we will continue to align them. And I want you to take a look at the BPM value right now. The BPM value has changed. Before we had it at 100 and now we have it at 134. So let's continue. Let's see if there is uh, any grid not Alright, around here you can do a bit of little drags around. And I just pull that grid back to align it properly so it could lay right there on the down. So you can keep you can keep scrubbing through the tracks for you to locate and then fine tune it to your taste. Now everything looks good. Alright, I think I need to align this a bit. So right now everything looks good. So I'm gonna click on save right now so I can save that new grid setting into the song's data now we have the beats 
the bits per minute at 134. Earlier we had it at uh, 100, now we have it at 134 now. So let's loop, let's set a 4 bit loop and then go over go over the song again and listen if it's seamless or not. So let's listen. Yeah, I'm sure you guys noticed that it's now properly set and the loop is now seamless as it's supposed to be. When you're done setting it, when you now have it properly set, you can now come, just come here and then hold down your control key. If you're using Windows, hold down your control key and then left click so that it can lock the BPM in place. Or if you're using Mac, you can use a, hold down your command key and then left click. So it will put this lock on it. When put it, after you put the lock, what the lock will do is to lock in the bits per minute. So therefore you will be able to change anything. You can see, I tried changing it now and then it still returned to 134. You can see, let me try to change it to 300 and then it still go, goes back to 134. So it's a wonderful feature which helps to lock in your bits per minute data. Alright, thank you very much.